This is a brief tutorial on how to solve ODEs in the Laplace and time domain. We're going to do this in MATLAB. Okay, so the first equation that we want to solve, let's just start with a very simple one, which is a first order linear system. And that's just going to be tau um, times dx dt equals negative x plus k, which is our gain times u. Okay, so this system, if you have a step input in uh, with delta u, it's going to have a corresponding um, increase or decrease up to a new steady state value uh, for our x value. Okay, and so the time constant is how long it takes to get 63% of the way there in that time constant, and then we have uh, delta y over delta u at steady state is going to be our gain. Okay, so um, let's just go ahead and set this up. Uh, first of all, with MATLAB. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and, and open MATLAB. Uh, you can find many of the source files for this at apmonitor.com. If you go to lecture note 16, I'll post uh, the example code there. And um, okay, so I have MATLAB open. And, and what we'll do now is um, just go ahead and change the directory to our uh, desktop. Okay, so I'm just going to go to my um, desktop on this computer and I'll just put the files there. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm there on the desktop and I'm going to go ahead and create a new script. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and just clear all of my variables if I have any plots open and also clear the screen. And um, you know, let's uh, let's now go ahead and just define a, a, a integration. Okay, so we're going to save this. I'll just save this as main um, as a main file. And uh, we want to integrate this and I'll do that as um, okay, just return time and the x values. Okay, and I'm going to use, uh, you can use different ODE integrators. One that I like to use is ODE15S and um, I'll just call this FOPDT, uh, first order plus dead time. I'll actually have no uh, dead time in this case. Um, and so we want to get our function there that we're going to use uh, to return derivative values. And then we also want our time span. So I'm going to go between 0 and 10 um, for our time and then give an initial condition for our um, our current state. Okay, we're only going to have one, and that, I'll just say that's going to be equal to zero. Okay, so this is the call to be able to integrate that, um, and then we need to create a new function now. Okay, so I'm going to create a new function, um, and uh, let me go ahead and just replace this with dx dt, and I'm going to call this fop dt, just like I called it there in the uh, in my first example. Okay, so um, what we need to do is is have our time and then also our x values that are going to be inputs to this. Okay, and then um, I'm just going to return dx dt equals and then uh, our linear first order plus dead time model. And this, this one doesn't have dead time, but it's just a linear uh, system of equations. And um, <clears throat> so let me go back here to the editor. And so I'm going to do negative x plus k times um, u. Okay, and I'll just define u in this case as um, 2. And let's see, u equals 2, and we'll do k equals um, 3. Okay, so I have some, some constant values. You could put those in as additional parameters here, um, like such, but I'm just going to go ahead and put them, just for simplicity's sake, into this function. Okay, I'm just going to save this as fopdt.m as well. Okay, so I have a main function, and then I have an FOPDT function. And then if I run this, um, it's going to go ahead and run this function. Um, and you see that uh, I have my time values, and then I also have my x values. So if I do plot of time versus x, you'll see this uh, response. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that into our script as well. And so I'm going to do plot of time and x. Okay, so now I will also want to solve this with um, in the Laplace domain. Okay, so this is the um, time uh, uh, dependent solution or time domain solution. I use an integrator in this case. 
And now I want to do a uh, Laplace um, domain solution. Okay, so I'm going to create a new Laplace variable, and I call that a transfer function of s. And then I want to uh, transform my differential equation into Laplace form. Okay, so um, the way I do that is um, let's take the Laplace transform of this. Okay, so s times x of s minus x zero initial condition. We said that was zero. Okay, equals and then I have negative x of s plus k times u of s. Okay, if I rearrange that, I get x of s over u of s equals um, k divided by tau s plus 1. Okay, so I want to put this in as a transfer function. I'll name this, uh, I'll call this g of s. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and put that into MATLAB, and then we'll com we'll solve it and compare with the time domain solution. Okay, so let me go back to my editor. I have my Laplace domain uh, variable, which is s. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new transfer function, g. And uh, we said that the gain, um, let's just go back to our FOPDT model. Our gain was 3, and our input was 2. Okay, so that's going to be k uh, divided by... Um, Let's see, yeah, k of, of 3, and actually we forgot to do our tau here as well. Let's just go ahead and do that as well. Let's do a tau of uh, 4, okay? 1 divided by tau, and then k divided by tau. Okay, so I have uh, with, with tau in there as well, I have tau of 4 u of 2 and k of 3. Okay, I'll just go ahead and copy these right here. So k divided by tau times s plus 1. Okay, so there's my um, my transfer function. And, um, and then let me go ahead and just go ahead and do a step response. Okay, I'll just say this is y equals uh, step of um, G. Okay, so I'll step that, and then I have a delta U of 2. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and multiply it by the U. Okay, and uh, let me see how to get the... I'm going to go over to MATLAB and just do a help on step. Okay, so I want to get the time out as well, so I can plot the time. So in this case, it's Y comma T equals step. So that's an optional argument, which is T... Um, and so I'll have t2, I already have a variable named t, um, and uh, we'll get that from the step input. Okay, so um, the other thing that we want to do is put that on the same plot. So I'm going to go ahead and hold on to the uh, one plot and plot my other values, which are t2 and y. And I'll go ahead and make that a red dashed line instead of the standard blue line. Um, that is run for the other one. Okay, so when it runs, um, let's go back to our MATLAB script. Okay, so we have um, an error here, which is U, uh, too many output arguments. Okay, so let's just try to do step, let's see what our G is. Okay, there's a continuous time transfer function. If we do step of G, Okay, it comes up with our, our step response. Um, so it looks like we actually need to put the U in with the, uh, the response here. Okay, times U, the delta U that we had. And let's see if we come up with something else. Okay, so um, let's see, what do we do wrong here? We, got, we have something that's not quite right, the tau value. Um, oh, I forgot to save this function. You see the little asterisk by it? Um, so let me go back to main, and I'm going to solve it again. And you can see that the two are right on top of each other. Okay, so this one, the step one, went all the way out to 40. Let's say we're only interested in uh, the first 10 time points. We can then change our axis if we want to. I'm just going to go 0 to 10, and then um, let's do 
uh, 0 to 8. Okay, and then run it again, and then it should show us only that range that we selected. Okay, so the two are right on top of each other. We saw that we can solve this with a time domain in the time domain uh, using a function like this where we return the derivative values dx dt mm -hmm. and then give it to an integrator like ODE15s or we can solve it with the Laplace domain in this case we came up with the transfer function g and then gave it the step uh, you know solved it with the step input and uh, then plotted the two results and they were nearly identical okay so that concludes this tutorial on solving linear uh, first-order systems in either the time or the Laplace domain.